Hi everyone, welcome back to March Sadness. Thank you so much for being here. Today's topic is about a very loosely thrown around phrase, an underrated gem, but I've decided to pick an album that I think should be in that category, and that is Misser's album, Every Day I Tell Myself I'm Going to Be a Better Person. The band Misser formed a while ago as a collaboration between Tim Landers of Transit and Brad Wiseman of This Time Next Year. This is the lone album from Misser amongst a trio of EPs. And this album was released in 2012, seven years before the untimely and tragic death of Tim Landers. This album may not be a classic, but I think it's a shame that this album by Misser flies so far under the radar. This album is solid, it's fun, and it's honest, well deserving of the quality of an underrated gem. And it's kind of charming that Misser is the product of two backing vocalists doing their own thing together. The end result is a right down the middle blend of these two singers, almost like they wanted it to be perfectly fair so that neither of them would be labeled as a backup singer in their own band. Again, I find that pretty charming and that could be the plot of some silly comedy movie. Brad and Tim's vocal interplay stands out the most for me on this album. The seamless handoffs are Misser's calling card, and it never feels like a novelty act either. They introduce us to said calling card on the opening track permanently, a short and stripped back little introduction to the album. But we really get a feel for Brad and Tim's chemistry in time capsules as they pass each verse back and forth. They use these dual vocals to their fullest advantage to achieve things that just aren't possible with a single singer. It's admittedly been a long time since I revisited this album, so I was very excited to do so for March Sadness, and all of the things that I remember loving about this album are still there. The roughness of the vocals, the harmonizing, and the long choruses are as pleasing to my ear as ever. Although I have found that the lyrics hold this album back in some parts. Bridges and I'm really starting to hope the world ends in 2012 are the two biggest offenders. There's still songs I enjoy, but there's just not a ton of meat on the bones on those songs. What makes even the most simple of ideas in their songwriting work is the life that these two breathe into each word. Like here on Weightless, or here on my personal favorite track, The Weights. Bad News is a close second for me with some clever storytelling and lyrical switch-ups. It's the most sing-alongable track on here and I think it's an easy song to love. And it has my favorite guitar opening here too. This album has windows into the pain and hopelessness that these two were feeling at the time, but this album isn't a depressing listen, and you can still have a good time with this album no matter what headspace you're in. It is awful what happened to Tim. He was a real talent and figurehead in the scene, but I'm grateful that we have an album like this to remember him by. If you're feeling nostalgic for some early 2010s pop punk, this is a great album for you to go and revisit. It's straightforward with a ton of heart and lots of emotional moments, but never feels drab. It's an album that I don't want to see slowly forgotten. Thank you for joining me in today's episode of March Sadness. I very much hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.